edit. Congratulations on this. I thought Thanks. it was just great to see you in this film. And I want to ask you, okay, now that you're, you know, a pro with this film, what is the <laughs> art of being a good con man? Um, depending on uh, other people's greed, I think, is uh, the, the, the key to being a con man. But I'm, I'm uh, in this movie, I'm chief of security. I'm the guy that the con man wants to avoid at all costs. Yeah. So. Yeah, and you get to rough up Will a little bit. That had to have been fun. Yeah. <laughs> Only in a movie could that happen. He could kick my ass in a New York second, but in the movies, I, I take him down. It's, uh, it's fun. It's fun. Yeah. And as you say, it's, you know, it's why I became an actor, right? <laughs> Indeed. When you get to Indeed. kick Will Smith's butt, I think it'd be worth all the years of acting. It, it, would, it, it would have to be in a movie. <laughs> Absolutely. But it was great fun. How did you like working with Will? <laughs> it's a hoot. It's just a hoot the whole time. The, uh, I mean, he's just naturally a funny guy to begin with. But he's very, very hardworking. You know, he takes all of the stuff that he does seriously and uh, not himself and not life. You know, all of that is just a kick in the pants to him. And I like being around people like that. Yeah, and, and again, like really great cast in this. And, you know, I'm looking at Margot Robbie and I, you know. I, yeah, it's a shame I, about looking at her, isn't it? Seriously, and, Ooh. you know, I, I don't swing that way, but I have to tell you, she's absolutely stunning. I would understand if you did in that particular case. <laughs> it would be perfectly fine. I, she, wow, what is with that girl? She just picks it up like, yeah. like it's nothing. Yeah. And oddly enough, she reminds me in a lot of ways of a really hip, Marilyn Monroe, uh, because she's got that her own little sense of timing. She's not dead gorgeous, um, but there's a a frailty about her. She can be tough, but underneath all of that, there's a there's a vulnerability that is very charming and very <clears throat> humanizing. Yeah. Um, and anybody who's that good looking needs some humanizing, you know? Yeah, yeah, she's beautiful. I personally never had that problem, but. Uh. Oh, I think your wife wouldn't. Uh, wouldn't oh, well, that. my wife is one of the ones who needs the humanizing, so, that, you know. <laughs> what are we going to see you two work together again? I would love it. I would love it. Uh, she's gotten to the point where she still likes the process of doing this business, but it's all the BS that you got to go through to get there that has her sort of taking time off. Yeah, well, yeah. Uh, yeah, we haven't seen her in a while. I'd love to see I the know. two of you. I I, I'd be remiss if I didn't uh, ask you about House of Cards because I absolutely, I, I, that series is so brilliant. And for you to work on something like that with Kevin Spacey and oh. just going head to head, what was it like for you to do that? It's, this was one of those shows, as was Deadwood, where you're reminded of why it is you became an actor. When you get to work with somebody as good as Kevin, and the writing is as good as it is, and the direction is just phenomenally good. Some of the best directors in the business came on and did that show. And when you have all of those things, I mean, at the end of the day, you feel like asking how much you owe them uh, to have been able to perform in that show. And then you find out they're still gonna pay you for it. It's you know, yeah, pictures. remarkable. Yeah, no kidding. Big time. No kidding. Well, you're, you're great in that. You're great, and I, I look forward to all the TV stuff that you do. And you're so wonderful in this. It's wonderful to see you, you on the big screen again. Thanks. And uh, great to talk to you. Nice talking Thank to you. you.